Mm, Taikao. Yeah. Uh, so, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, legal session. Uh, uh, anyone cannot understand the Cantonese. Okay. Okay. 當然,我可以簡單先介紹一下機械工程在香港可以做什麼 Building Services 或者是熟具,或者是抽出機,很多,很多,其實都是我們的lab做test。Oh, you, sorry. So you want to have a, okay. Uh, actually, this session is a mixed session, but the, I actually, I just uh, briefly introduced the uh, mechanical and the aerospace engineering. Of course, any kind of language will be fine. You can ask in, later you can, I, I can talk about that. Okay, so I can use English, but that maybe you use bilingual is better. Some, some people probably, or parent want to have the uh, Cantonese. So I use uh, both, okay. I, I think the Hong Kong, you have the, we have the transportation system, okay. So uh, like uh, including the sea, land, air, and also the energy, I just mentioned before, okay, energy. And uh, uh, like a uh, power generation, like a CLP, okay. So we have a close connection, CLP, uh, Hong Kong gas, and also MTR. So this kind of transportation and also energy management environment, this is a very, uh, in Hong Kong, okay, this is a good opportunity for a student. After they graduate, they can work in this kind of industrial firm. But also one very big one is called the building services. Okay, building services is mainly in, inside the building. So how to make the building more efficient? Okay, energy efficient. How to comply with like a uh, uh, energy efficiency? This kind of uh, requirement. Also, I think uh, Hong Kong IE, you know Hong Kong IE, Hong Kong Institute of Engineers. So uh, they have a very big uh, building service discipline. So we are mechanical engineering, but many students when they graduate, they can go to the uh, building services discipline. Okay. <clears throat> So oh, talk about the manufacturing. I just mentioned before in Cantonese. So we have a design, 
like uh, particularly for electronics packaging, okay, aerospace uh, component manufacturing. Actually, yesterday I met uh, uh, one new industry in Hong Kong. So it's called Hong Kong Aerospace Company Limited. So what they did is that they are a new company. They are going to build, okay, build uh, in Changkwangao industrial uh, area. So they are going to build uh, uh, industry to uh, fabricate this uh, satellite, okay, micro satellite. So they have a uh, actually very, very ambitious plan in Hong Kong, okay. So of course, in addition to those satellite or something, there in Hong Kong we also have the, this kind of traditional one, like a, a heco heso for aircraft maintenance. And then if you consider in the Greater Bay Area, there has more and more more this kind of company, okay, for aerospace, mechanical fabrication, precision engineering, and smart manufacturing, etc. So those actually provide a lot of opportunity for students. Okay. So um, I I don't want to spend too much time so to talk about that. I just want to say actually for the student who joined this department because now of course you all we understand because the aviation industry was affected by pandemic, right? Pandemic. But if this company is local, so actually it should be fine. Like I just mentioned this satellite company. So this should be fine. But if you want to go to the intern or exchange program to Boeing or something, then I think this year and last year and this year will be difficult, right? So, but after the pandemic, pandemic that should be okay. Uh, Hong Kong has a, a lot of opportunity now. So, particularly consider we combine the mechanical aerospace engineering with AI, right? So this is a new program for the new student. So I, I think this is also a very good opportunity for students uh, to consider both, okay? One is the somehow is more in hardware part and the other one, the AI part is a, is a software part. Right, so this is, uh, I think uh, you can consider. Okay, I, I don't want to spend too much time uh, to talk about them uh, because this is not a presentation session. Otherwise I will use PPT. So is any question, anyone want to ask, I can answer. Uh, I can answer. Mandarin, English, or uh, yes, the course taught in English, definitely. Official language is English, okay? Um, for international students, okay, internship, I think is not, no limited to what kind of uh, national, nationality, I think it's not a problem. So you, because for example, if you, uh, if, I, I don't know which program are you interested in. For example, if you uh, join our mechanical or aerospace engineering program, there's some program like uh, is a uh, can be like a, some student uh, like a 2019 because last year is a pandemic right it's difficult to go to overseas so we suspend that pro internship program but uh, in 2019 then for example uh, even for the international student you can go to the GE we have a we have signed the agreement join the uh, GE uh, this kind of uh, you know, GE Edison yes. program is a very prestigious program. So the student can get trained to there. And also Boeing. Uh, uh, okay, I will answer one by one, okay? 
and then this kind of different uh, local, we also have the co-op program. Okay, so yeah, this is all opportunity. We don't limit this uh, to local student or international student. This should be fine. Um, wait, let me see the question. Uh, how many students are admitted every year? Okay, very good question. Now for mechanical, because this is a school-based admission, so it means even you want to come to mechanical and aerospace engineering, your first year will be admitted to School of Engineering. And then at the end of the first year, uh, you will have the uh, opportunity to choose a different department. For example, you come to Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. And every year, uh, we have about 130 to 150 mechanical and aerospace engineering student admitted, 130 to 50. Okay, so uh, we, out of that, uh, aerospace engineering student within this is about 30, the quarter is 30. So from the 30 to 35 depends on how many uh, students apply, okay? So this total is about 135 to 30 uh, to 150. <coughs> Sorry, I don't go to too high. So I, I haven't answered that, that question. Oh, okay. Kaiser, I don't know what you're talking about. Because the technology is in the ECE, which is the technology. 如果係講嗰個就完全唔同，佢係做電子做 chip 係咪？但係機械工程咧，好多老師咧，佢都有可能做 chip 啊，都有可能用嗰、那個誒、uh, electronics fabrication micro fabrication 辦法咧去做嗰個 chip。但係其實誒， uh, 如果你有好多咧，佢用講電機工程咧，就係講誒 mechanical and aerospace engineering， 佢最主要係講自動化嗰啲嗰個部。嗰啲係嗰啲用 control AI 去 control 個 mechanical system 去去做嗰、那個誒、uh, smart manufacturing。OK。Aerospace degree is the aviation industry the only no 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 it's not that. So as I mentioned that、uh, aerospace engineering is not just aviation industry like a Heckel, Hessel, KC. I, I just mentioned yesterday I met one company called Aerospace and Aerospace, Hong Kong Aerospace uh, Engineering Company Limited. Okay, so this is a new company. They are building the satellite in Hong Kong. Okay, uh, the company is set in the Jiang Kuang Ao uh, industrial area. Okay, so they bought uh, is about uh, 100, uh, 120,000 square feet uh, there to build uh, the satellite uh, industry. They want to fabricate the satellite in Hong Kong. Okay, so I think uh, they, the company will uh, start to pro, pro, uh, produce this kind of some component. At the, from the beginning, I think it's some uh, satellite component uh, next year, starting from next October. Uh, August, sorry, August. So of course, uh, there are many, many opportunities in Greater Bay Area. I, as I mentioned that this, they have a lot of this kind of aerospace, not just avion, avion, aviation, okay? Not just aviation. Okay, so the, the next question. Uh, this is hard to answer the IB score <laughs> for this course. Now, I have to mention that IB score, yeah, we, we are very selective. Now, the question is that the first year at the mission is by the School of Engineering. Unless you, you want to enter our uh, second year directory, this is called a direct entry student, right? So, but usually IB score, I think you, you will be admitted in the first year. So that, 
first year at the mission, I probably you you have to ask the school engineering because the school pays at the mission. Okay. What's the main difference? Ah, main difference. Okay, this is simple, right? So mainly aeronautical engineering is mainly talk about the aviation or aircraft, right? Aerospace, this small, is cover both, including aeronautic and the space. Space means you can go to satellite, a space shuttle, and there's something. It's more, more than that. Right, satellite, so on. I, I think uh, uh, now Hong Kong has, in addition to the traditional aeronautic engineering or aviation, actually now has opportunity. Many companies, they want to launch this uh, space, okay, space, this kind of uh, industrial program. Okay. <clears throat> so what's the engineering course I can I apply? with IB math. Well, I, 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 I have to tell you, so if you, it's IB, uh, you talk about the mission, so it's better to ask the School of Engineering because the first year is a school on uh, engineering at the mission, school-based at the mission. Okay, if they, don't, they don't consider you are, you, uh, uh, later you will apply to mechanical or uh, aerospace because this space is a school-based at the mission. Um 那个科目会多一点,你要得讲,你可以讲的嘛,你可以讲的,你去到那个aerospace I apply I push IB analysis? I, I, I said, okay, for IB, please, please, uh, uh, for the mission issue, please, uh, because you are year one, if you Year one at the mission, so it's a school based. Okay, okay. I said again, please uh, ask the school of engineering because we don't we don't admit a student for year one, year one student. Okay, year one is a school based mission. Ah, uh, do <laughs> 香港是現在是Hackle 除非你是你选DJI你选不选呢 company。所以,所以看看你,你去冰豆做啦。嗯,想问看我填夜晚之后,mechanical uh, and aerospace,我认为mechanical and啊。哦,OK,呃,还一讲一,总还两个都可以讲。那major就还得一个,你只可以讲一个major,那你,第一年, okay. uh, 之后你可以选mechanical或者选aerospace 
。咁你仲可以揀個 aerospace minor program。咁 minor 一般係揀另外就係收落科，落科就 OK 啦。e i g h t e e n credits。OK。啊，仲有咩問題 ？So we apply the School of Engineering in the first year, and then apply. Yeah, the next year is not apply, just declare the major in the second end of first year. Okay. So you you at the end of first year you declare major. Uh, most of students, uh, if you, I mean, we don't have a quarter. So means if you are interested in the uh, mechanical or aerospace, then you apply to us. Unless, okay, of course, unless your CGA or GPA is too low or too, too poor, that's a problem, right? But usually it's okay. Usually you we will admit, okay. 可以同時申請工學院、理學院。Uh, I don't know this one. 嗱，你你如果講呢個就要問工工學院啦。呢個就因為我哋係 department， 唔係唔係學院，係咪 ？It's not. I'm not the represent the school of engineering or or science. So, uh, I think you have to ask the school of engineering or to ask the um university. Better. I think ask the school of engineering will be okay. What's the chance to get uh, accepted if I only apply after the actual A level? So, oh, this is not a So this is not a problem. So, what, what's your problem? I don't understand your question. What's the chance to get accepted if I only apply after uh, the actual A level result is out? Now, usually you. When you apply, right first, uh, you can have a, uh, you can have some choices, right? And I, I think that when the A level result is uh, announced, you know, you still can change. You still can change. I think that that will not change your uh, this kind of chance. So still, you can still change. You you can still change your choices after you know your results. Okay, A level results. So this is not a problem. This is not a problem. Can I take a both aerospace and mechanical? No, major is only one. Okay. So you have to declare major at the end of the first year after you enter the mechanical and aerospace engineering. But but you can do the program transfer. For example, after you enter mechanical engineering for uh, one year, okay, and then because the second year, uh, the course in mechanical engineering and the aerospace engineering, the course are quite many courses are similar. So at the end, after you study for one semester, now if you think you want to change, you want to ch transfer from, we call the program transfer, tra transfer from mechanical to aerospace or aerospace to mechanical, that's fine, it's very easy. Okay, but you cannot get a two two major. It's not possible. Okay, because two major means at, because the year four, year three, year four course there are some different. So you have to take more. Then it's still very difficult to get a dual degree for aerospace and mechanical, right? Can I English? Some都都難招聘少人apply。誒都有誒每一年我可以話俾你知，但係每一年誒差唔多誒申請難招聘時，我哋都收，但係但係難招聘時一般都係誒Year Two Direct 
Um, I also want to know what kind of math and science school are involved. We we don't have this kind of requirement. Now, uh, for for the math and the science topics are uh, in. What 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 do you mean? Is do you mean the you has a school or topics? The course you choose. I, I don't. This question is not clear. Okay. So do you mean now? If you think that is a big uh, math and the science course, you have to take uh, uh, so that you can enter the aerospace and the mechanical engineering. We don't have this kind of requirement because the requirement for year one admission is set by the school of engineering okay set by school of engineering so if you can enter the school of engineering you can automatically select the mechanical and aerospace engineer at the end of the one year one okay hmm. the title of this talk yeah yeah this is both Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a this session is both Cantonese and English. Okay, the title is already there. It's not just English. So, it, so if you have any, uh, you want me to answer the uh, Cantonese, it's fine. What facilities are available in this course? Yes, we have definitely have a wind tunnel. But you know, aerospace engineering is not not just a wind tunnel not just aerodynamic, although I'm myself doing the aerodynamic too, okay, I do the micro air vehicle, okay, so I, but, you know, it's not just a wind tunnel. Actually, nowadays, aerospace engineering, including material, manufacturing, design, control, aerodynamics are part of that. I have to mention that, okay? You will learn many very interesting things, okay? So from this program, can you tell us uh, the ratio between the local Hong Kong student? Oh, local is about, I think the international student is about 10%. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, local, most of the local, sorry. The, the, because we, uh, we um, I'm thinking about the local because not to include the mainland China student. So, okay. So international also not to include them. So it means international means outside from the other country. So, okay, uh, the mainland students still have about uh, 5% something. Okay. Oh. Now it's, I think it's more and more course become, uh, uh, we call the um, experiential learning course. Experiential learning course means you, you can have some kind of hands-on practice, not just a project, but uh, hands-on, they have some lecture and then hands-on practice. So this is called the experiential learning course but also some project oriented course, a lab course also, okay? This is hard to say the percentage, but we encourage more and more hands-on practice, okay? Encourage more. Actually myself in the past, before I became the head of department, actually I, I taught the laboratory course, okay? We have more than 10 different kind, very interesting experiment, okay? <clears throat> How heavy is the workload? Uh, well, actually, I have to say that uh, depends on how do you, oh, sorry, I can't see that. Oh, it uh, depends on how do you manage your time. I think the time management in university is very important. Okay, so if you can manage your time, it's not a problem the workload, you still have time to enjoy your life, university life. But the question is that, uh, how do you manage your time effectively? 
I think that is, this is very important for a student to learn in the university first, because this is not high school. Okay, so I have to say that uh, everyone try to learn how the time management in the university. And then also, you know, uh, uh, when we study outside, okay, abroad, we will say you play hard and also work hard. So it means you still have time to play. But the question is how do you manage your time? Okay, so it's not a problem. I think, I don't think uh, uh, some people can say very heavy, some cases, no, it's nothing to me. So it's very easy. So it's hard to, to say everyone's different. Should I apply the course if I want to be a pilot? <laughs> we, we do have some students become a pilot, pilot. Okay, so uh, uh, what the, apply the course? So uh, because the you but the, uh, after you graduate uh, to become pilot, you still have to go through different kind of training and the certificate course. So, but this is a step, okay, for you because uh, uh, to to learn the fundamental of that. <coughs> Uh,我頭先講咗差唔多十五個percent咯,就係我哋一年好似收一百三到一百五十個好生,咁你幾百十五個percent到差唔多,十到十五個啦,好生,幾多個咁樣。Does aerospace engineering include design? Oh, we have a propulsion and engine course, but uh, we, I don't think we really go to design aircraft engine, okay? And also because we emphasize green aviation now, green aviation. So the propulsion now is more, even the, like the other uh, main, main uh, aircraft company, the propulsion in the future probably is not a traditional aircraft engine, it's probably a motor, okay? So it depends on what kind, even use some kind of the plasma induced this kind of uh, force to drive the aircraft, future aircraft. So we, we teach more, uh, we teach some traditional one, but also teach some new, okay, so future. Ah,教授,聽啊,我知,開M2。M1同呢個冇冇名嘅,冇名嘅。嗱,對我哋嗱,嗱,問題就係咁樣,我頭先講,你E1,你其實去到都係去school,school Everybody, you can apply to our mechanical and aerospace engineering. So if you go to the school of engineering, that's your moment. Okay. Which program? I don't know. You you mean aerospace or you mean the mechanical? It's a different. Uh, now, if you don't have M2, so it's uh, in secondary school, as I mentioned, if you consider admission, then if you can, admission matter, you better ask the School of Engineering. So it's not controlled by us. Because we, we, we actually, you only need to declare major at the end of first year. So in the, in the first year's admission, actually is uh, handled by the School of Engineering. So probably you ask them, okay? Probably you ask them. I, I think it's okay, okay? I think uh, you don't need... <coughs> uh, it's a repairing center, the most again. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, Hong Kong has a, a 
Hong Kong has the, the Hassel, Heckle, right? So the, the aircraft maintenance. So for the Rolls Royce and also for the GE. But, <clears throat> but as I just mentioned, uh, okay, as I just mentioned that I, yesterday I just met a company. Okay, that's a company called the uh, Aerospace, uh, Hong Kong Aerospace uh, Engineering uh, uh, Company Limited. So they are doing the satellite. They are building the, uh, the uh, company in the Changkwang Ao industrial area. Okay, so they they plan. They initially they plan is uh, about to launch this kind of satellite, about one hundred twenty uh, satellite. But then later on, they uh, I just heard yesterday, so they want to launch more every year. So probably more uh, produce more satellite. Okay. So this is, a, I think it's a good opportunity. They will come to our university next week to discuss several things like the internship, uh, co-op, and then also the jo job uh, placement. So because they are eager to, to hire students from our university. <clears throat> uh, what should I prepare for the interview? Wow. <laughs> so I, I, I cannot answer because the interviewer is, I, I, I may be one of that, but maybe different uh, professor has different uh, questions. So it's hard to answer, to say what kind of question we ask, right? So it's very difficult to, hard to say, but it just try your best to answer. Okay. So it's, a, it's not a problem. I don't think it would be any, any problem. <laughs> I, I interview many, many students and they all are very smart. Okay. But the, important to uh, don't be too shy. So uh, just uh, talk about your own opinion. Okay. Not every other people say what you also say that uh, it's not very good. So and I don't think it's a problem. If student study year 12 in Australia, Okay. Uh, record. Can apply now. I, I said that now for admission matter, uh, please contact the school of engineering. Okay. Please contact school of engineering because the year one admission is uh, handled by, uh, by school of engineering. Okay. So all the please. Or admission matter, please uh, ask the School of Engineering. So I think as uh, our time is up, also no question. So is that right? No more questions. So uh, any more question? Zhong Yang Mo, Kita Mente. If I don't, I will leave you in the time. If no question, then I close this session. Thank you very, very much. Well, thank you. Um, I want to ask you, Aerospace Engineering, including Space,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那個,那
誒出去之前咧都係 aeronautical 嗰部分咯，空氣 aero aerodynamic 嗰啲嘢。但係你如果出去咗之後，可能就係衛星啊 control 啊嗰啲就唔同，就係 space 比較多咯。嗰啲精密嗰啲好似誒 precision engineering 反而比較多啲，做衛星啊嗰啲，嗰啲嗰個就反而比較多啲咯。睇，其實兩個係冇咩，誒、呃、都有好大關係，係誒個 fundamental course 係差唔多咯，但有啲唔同，有啲 course 就唔同咯。我哋唔會對，誒、嗯，咁嗰啲詳細嘅嘢係咪都係要之後再讀完大學四年，如果想繼續讀先，再讀到嗰啲嘢啊？係咯，係咯。嗱，我我你你係咪比較有興趣做 space 嗰啲咧？就係、是、好似衛衛星啊嗰啲係咪？或者係、啊、我頭先講啦，就是、香港有間公司係做衛星嘅，而家係將軍澳工業村起緊樓啦，佢要請好多人。嗱、啊，嗰、那個咧就唔定啊，一定要打上去。佢因為香港咧，你如果要做，要將嗰個 satellite 打上去咧，呢、這個這個技術咧係冇啊。但係佢做嗰個衛星本身係有啊，因為嗰嗰個係、那個、precision manufacturing 啊，誒誒嗰啲嘢。其實香港以前做做有好多個公司都可以做 manufacturing、precision manufacturing， 所以而家好有差唔多一百個誒股東咧，係都係香港廠家以前佢集中去做呢件事，就係、是、就想將香港咧做一個誒、呃、可以製造衛星嗰、那個嗰、那個公司做出來咯，咁樣咯。佢出年開始請人，咁你你做嗰個 satellite 五定下一定要 aerodynamic。你如果做 satellite 去去做 satellite 本身咧，你可以唔需要做 aerodynamic 啊。哦，好好好，唔該。係做電子精密精密誒工程啊，嗰啲 control 啊，嗰啲都係都係咯。嗯。所以呢啲上堂都會講咯。除非你想去火星啊咁样，咁呢个好啊，好得意啦。嗰啲系系比较难度比较高啲。So any other question？ 有冇其他问题啊？如果冇问题，时间好似过咗好耐啦，咁我就离开咯。OK。Thank you. Okay, bye.